So, out of my joy and excitement for all things voice controlled, I recently decided to implement in my room uh, another thing I found online called Siri Proxy, which is basically a way to intercept and uh, implement custom commands for the voice controlled assistant on the iPhone 4S called Siri. So, this is a little demonstration on how it works, or it working. So, uh, so basically, you give commands just like you would give it to Siri. So, turn off all lights. Turning off all lights. And then it does that. And so, basically, the way it's working is it's running a proxy server uh, that intercepts traffic going to and from the iPhone. And uh, so, th and this was this is an open source project on GitHub. It's pretty awesome. Uh, it's based off of Apple Idioms, uh, crack of the Siri communication protocol. So, a little more example. Just the main lights. And one of the downsides is that sometimes it takes as long as it takes to deliver a real Siri request. And let me try it again. Just the main lights. Adjusting lights. How is that? A little lower. Let me turn off the lamps. So you can do all kinds of things. You can ask it, you can have it respond back to you. And so all these commands are not actually in Siri. If you pick up a regular iPhone, you can't do that. The way this is working is that it's being it's being implemented through uh, a Ruby script that's running on this computer. So you can see a little bit. So every time I send a command to Siri, you can see that it yeah, it's picking up the packets. So it's picking up speech packets and whatnot. And it's... Uh, so it's sending the request to the Apple server, and then if then when it gets a request back, figures out what you actually said, and then figures out if if it can give a custom response to what you said. So switch on closet lights. Switch on closet lights. On closet lights. So that's basically how it works, and right now it's kind of in a very preliminary phase. I'm trying to figure out why it goes a little too slow sometimes. That's one of the problems that I've been having, is that it will block me out after a couple of requests. But then again, this is probably not something that Apple wants you to be doing with your iPhone 4S. So, you know, um, obviously take that as you will. So uh, that's, that's basically a little example on how this works. Um, a couple other cool things you can do. I'm going to sleep. I'm turning off the lights. Would you like me to turn off the lamps? Yes. Okay. Good night. Cash app. And there you go.